out of radio range with the cars. They're completely lost in the middle of nowhere with no radio. They don't have any supplies with them and we have no idea where they are. This place is so dangerous when you think about it. Wait, are they just leaving us? Apparently we have a flat tire. Oh god! Oh yes! Oh yeah, we do. We really do. So, pumping it up and then putting water to see where the issue is. This is about as remote as punctures get. They just pumped it back up and then they said, Inshallah. Pump it. I guess we're just going to see what happens now. Out there. Out there. You see? You see? Out there. No, 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 no. Far out. I'm never going to get him. Got him. Got him. Go up the hill. Hey, you see him? Yes, yes, yes. See him? Got him. Flash the lights. Flash the lights. Call the guys. Whoa, you probably can't tell on camera, but we're going yes. over like waves of sand. Whoa. So they got lost in the dunes. The best thing to do when you get lost in the desert is go to the highest point. Yeah. The point of life. The yeah, is the lost car. Desert updates, we've lost people today, we've had a puncture. Today's been a slightly more, it's been an eventful day today, but uh, we'll get there, we'll get there. We've still got like another six hours to go. And a little bit of background as well on this one. This, we're in the what we call the soft sand areas. The sand is, well, it's incredibly soft. I mean, look, I can just dig in so easily. But this, when I say this, I mean literally everything you see around me used to be many, 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 many years ago a lake which is dried up completely as you can tell down there you can see the stones all of this this right here is just a sand dune in the middle of the dried up lake back when there were like dinosaurs this was water loads of vegetation around unbelievable place to be able to see it now and see just how vast it is how huge this place is it's unbelievable <laughs> We're gonna try and pick up some of these old rocks. I mean, these rocks have been here for millions and millions of years. Look at that, I'm not sure if it comes off, but this is like an army green color. Meteorite looking thing. Just oh, caught a lizard. But we're still looking for the, uh, the So then okay. we're gonna see how it sinks Everybody into the sand. That was our last stop before leaving the desert. We're heading out now. We've got a long drive. We're gonna be at the hotel at like midnight. Biggest desert in the world right here. And I truly, truly believe the most beautiful place I've ever been. This is Khalid right here. He's been driving us for the last few days. But he's been driving because, you know, none of us have that much experience in the desert and it can be very, very dangerous here. It's so easy to flip a car or anything. So we've had professional drivers doing it. This is a city. Yes. Civilization. Other cars. Other people. Yeah. Civilization. Lights. I know. Electricity. We've made it somewhere. Shower. Yes. We're in a G-Wagon today and the convoy has grown. Oh yeah, 18 cars. 18. This is a mad convoy. Right, you guys know the drill. We're in the desert, therefore it is time to deflate the tires. Raptor, Hummer, Hummer, Nismo, Nissan Patrol. There's another car hidden right there, Toyota. We got our patrol to defend her. Welcome to another day of desert tour! Look at 
look at this. We've come to a lake. This place is beautiful. I've seen this all over Instagram. This is unbelievable. Crazy, isn't it? Oh my God. Eddie keeps filling me with fun fact. But yeah, this is the biggest lake in Saudi Arabia. From home, we find the Swedish native, the Oscar Backer, easily recognized by his gold locks and very pretty eyes. The Oscar Backer uses various tools, such as cameras and other things, to earn a living, such as douchebag backpacks. His eyes may be sweet, but they cannot be trusted. For Oscar is. <coughs> Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys, can I hop on? Thank yeah. you very much. This is the way we do it on Desert Tour. Find the nearest car. Eddie, how you doing? I'm great, man. You hey, good, man. huh? I'm good, I'm good, man. This is, uh, we're using the G-Wagon properly. People who say G63s don't get off-roaded, I say come on Desert Tour. I don't know if you can see the view behind me, if the camera will focus on it enough. There is the most unbelievable sunset behind us right now. Oh my god, so worth it. 